done. What? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. No, are we serious? Yes. Say it again. I broke up with you. Okay. No way. What the fuck? What the hell? room and she said unlock this door I'm getting the bell I said no you're not and then she unlocked the door fin finish what finish what I sent a guy a nude and he sent me back a video of him singing karaoke does this mean he likes me if you had a girlfriend, would you be okay with her hanging out with guys one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, what the hell? Why not? Um... All your hookups and all these guys in your life, they're all obsessed with you, Karina, because you go for the most mediocre, basic, ugly men in existence. Bottom of the barrel. Bottom. Every I, time. I feel like that's an insult to me. You don't think it is? <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't park your car here, ma'am. Are you blind? Ma'am. Move your car! <laughs> Even the most patient of men will only put up with self-sabotaging behavior for so long. The question is, how long is this guy going to last before he says, Pfft. She's too much hard work, she's wasting my time, I'm out of here. You look at the mom if you're dating a girl. You look at the mom, if she's still pretty, then the girl that you're dating, you know you got to catch. Yeah, exactly. So looks for the long run. What if the mom doesn't look good at 50? Then dip. Do you like a strong man or a weak man? Strong. So that strong man is your leader? No. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. He's your leader. <laughs> no, he's not. All right, how about your grandparents? Was there a leader? Maybe. Back in that time. Are you opposed to that now? Because it's we're in the new... Like, it's, everything's different now. We don't, women are, it's such More a miserable. Have your own spot, car, and job? Sorry for the interrogation lol, I'm just not into dating losers I'm sure you can understand. I definitely understand, and absolutely. I bought a house a while back my dad helped me out a lot. But yeah I have a house, I have a full time job and two cars lol. One for strictly work one for pleasure. Sounds like you got it going for you. Thanks love. So how about you? How about me what? Car? Crib? Job? Why would I need one? Brittany, you cannot touch this man. I will touch this man and he says it's fine. Oh yeah, and I get massages <laughs> more male. Drop these people off. So go. Just, like, hang out. I'm you just staying. wanna hang out? I'm staying. Men that lose their masculinity don't get respect for women. True feminine women do not do not want to see men cry. If you're going to be with somebody long term, live with somebody and get married to somebody, and they're going to lose respect and attraction for you for being a human, dump her. What would I do if a girl friend zones me? Block her. Why? Because she's just going to use you as a therapist while she screws other guys. How do you know? I've met girls like this and they're all f Us nice guys always finish last.
What's something you never told your ex? The actual body count that I had. All right, so what is your actual body count? It's like 40 some. All right, so what'd you tell your ex that it was? <laughs> like 10. Is it a deal breaker if you ask a girl on a date but she doesn't offer to pay? It can definitely give you a good idea of what type of person I think they are. What type of person are they? Maybe they're just looking for, uh, for a free ride. They're a freeloader. Yeah. Okay. Having female friends made me realize that women are absolute savages. So I'm talking to one of my homegirls. She tells me the story about a dude who has a whole crush on her. From the way she made it sound, this boy was in love. On the other hand, she didn't like this dude at all. In her own words, she just liked the attention that he gave. But what she didn't like, though, was the fact that other girls were interested in it. So she ended up concocting this entire scheme and told me it casually like she's not a Super villain. She said she started dating this man for about a month. Made him post her all over his social media. So this man systematically lost all his And then when this man was completely she dumped his on the spot. had a clip um, go go viral like a couple months ago where I just said, if your girl gains 100 pounds before she's even had kids, like you can leave. You don't have to put up with that. And it, it's like I had all these weight, like these girls coming at my page. And it's like if he if, if he dates you and you start overweight, OK, fine. He's into bigger girls. But like you're selling a, a guy 120 and now you're 220. That's not fair. I made a big mistake hooking up with a married woman. I hooked up with a woman I met at a bar last weekend. I'm not normally into the one night stands or hookup culture, but I was really in the mood and she was really hot. Well, we went back to her place and did the deed. And after we were done, I took a shower and was getting dressed when she says to me, you need to hurry. My husband just texted me and he's going to be here soon. I was shocked because she said nothing about being married. I said, you have a husband? What the hell? She seemed shocked and said, is that a problem for you? I said, yes. And even though we exchanged numbers that night, I didn't want to see her again. Well on Monday, I searched her name on Facebook, found her husband and sent him a quick message. I told him that we hooked up last weekend, that she wasn't wearing a ring, and I didn't know she was married, and we slept together in his bed, and that she told me after. I told him I was very sorry, and if I had known, I never would have slept with her, and he's welcome to punch me out if he sees me. He messaged me back and said he had a feeling she's been sleeping around, and that he appreciated me telling him, and that because I didn't know, he's not upset with me. He said he's going to confront her in a couple of days. Today she texted me and was furious that I told her husband, and that he's filing for divorce. I texted back, is that a problem for you? And she has not responded. I still feel terrible, but I'm glad I told her husband. It felt like the right thing to do, and if I were him, I'd want to know. Hey, she told me y'all was split up, bro. Uh, she said she didn't have nobody. We, we split up, she ain't got nobody. No, no, we're we still married. No, she didn't tell you she was divorced or nothing. What do you guys think is the biggest turnoff when it comes to girls? Ladies, let's take some notes. If she has a